Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Ankit Guglani and I welcome you to yet another episode of Tech Jockey Expert Series. A little bit of introduction about myself. I work as a pre-sales consultant at Trend Micro and in the past I have had the experience of working across diverse organizations not just in the field of cyber security but also network infrastructure and cloud services. Today I will be speaking on the key cyber security trends and how the organizations can stay ahead of the cybersecurity curve. While speaking with multiple CISOs uh, in the recent past, I realized that there is a thought process change drastic. And today, CISOs are not just worried about the overwhelming alerts, alert fatigue, shortage of skills, etc., etc., but they now want to channelize their energy in strategizing and create value for their organizations in a way that they are able to meet the expected security outcome which has been laid down as per the processes. But now you would see what has changed in the recent past or in comparison to the olden golden times and why traditional cyber security controls are not sufficient. A, there has been rapid enhancement and advancement in the technology that has reshaped our world. And you would see from the proliferation of IoT devices to the IT and OT integration to the expansion of cloud computing and cloud native application services and how can we forget about the expansion of remote work especially after the pandemic. These technology changes has reshaped our world in a way and it will continue to evolve in near future. Secondly, because of this distributed enterprise there is lack of visibility. Third, cyber attacks are going at an even exponential pace and the attackers are identifying new and novel ways for infiltrating an organization. You would have heard about the latest MGM Resorts attack and you would not realize the fact that it was done by an adversarial group called as Spider and Cat and these are a bunch of teenagers between the age group of 15 and 25 and they did a perfect blend of social engineering attack, wishing and ransomware as a service and they were able to bilk a lot of PII informations of MGM Resorts customers and I read about a recent study which revealed that every one ransom paid to these adversaries subsidizes nine future attacks. But in this, the spider and cat group was not even paid the ransom, but still in the past one month, they have further attacked three different organizations. And the attacks are happening anywhere and everywhere across the fields. Fourth, to top it all, the advent of generative AI is adding fuel to the fire. Deep fake attacks are now real and the repercussions of large language models are becoming visible. So what is the winning formula and how should we take charge of these 2.0 risks? Obviously, the traditional security controls will not help. It will further increase the operational challenges like we'll have to deploy tools for cloud, we'll have to deploy tools for cloud native applications, we'll have to deploy tools for OT. This will further increase the number of tools in an organization and organizations are struggling with this menace already. So the solution to this problem is a platform based approach or a cyber security mesh architecture which Gartner coined and how they define it as a collaborative ecosystem of tools and technologies in a way to secure this distributed enterprise. And at Trend Micro, we offer platform based approach from the year 2019 onwards and we proudly call it as Trend Vision 1 platform. And it helps to secure the organization's cybersecurity posture not just in a defensive manner but also in a proactive manner. Secondly, we are not focused only on securing the data centers and the cloud applications but we are also considering identities because identities are anywhere and everywhere and they are accessing the applications distributed across the enterprise. There are multiple factors on which we assess the risk. It's based on the asset criticality, it's based on the account compromise, it's based on threat detected and threats blocked and also the vulnerability detections. I'll talk about the vulnerability part first because it's important for any organization as there are n number of vulnerabilities across endpoints and servers. So the platform not only gives you a view of the vulnerabilities but also performs vulnerability practical high, medium and low range and also performs virtual patching so that even if your patch management cycle is not complete or bugs are not fixed, at least you are protected as exploits cannot 
hinder into your application or your endpoints and servers. This helps in strengthening the overall cybersecurity posture of an organization because the attacks which are coming in gets reduced. As you are aware, there is no silver bullet in cybersecurity and attackers will identify means and mechanisms to still intrude into the organization. That is where extended detection and response capabilities help and it is able to identify those suspicious activities lurking in the network which may be malicious in nature. Trend Vision 1 XDR is a true XDR platform which ingests telemetry from native sensors. And we are proud to say that we are one of those vendors across the globe which has native sensors across multiple attack vectors like endpoint, servers, email, network, OT and the cloud. And what we do is we capture the telemetry and activity across all of these sensors, synthesizes this information, perform the contextualization and correlation and then give a view of the meaningful high fidelity alerts which make sense for the security analysts. To top it all, we also integrate with third parties so that the platform capabilities are further enriched. Now once we have identified the risks, it is time to take the response actions. The response actions can be taken from the same screen either in the manual manner or also in the automated manner by defining the security playbooks. It can be fully automated or it can be partially automated depending on multiple factors like asset criticality, priority of the alert and the capabilities which your team possesses. And a study has revealed that by deploying XDRs, the mean time to detect and respond to a particular threat gets reduced by around 60% and Trend Vision 1 also gives you the capability to identify the mean time to patch as a part of the vulnerability detections and the vulnerability patch management cycle. To summarize, XTR focuses on the technical aspect related to threat detection and response capabilities. On the other hand, ASRM is a much broader concept that encompasses risk management strategies to address cybersecurity risks. Now, both ASRM and XDR play a vital role in modern cybersecurity efforts to protect against cyber threats. And Trend Vision 1 secret sauce is that we integrate both of these together in a way that XDR feeds input to the ASRM platform and ASRM feeds in turn input to the XDR platform. This helps in operationalizing the zero trust journey for our customers in a continual manner so that not just the authorized users, but the users who are less risky gets access to the core applications. There are other features to the platform as well, which includes a generative AI chatbot, which helps in increasing the SOC productivity. Then there is zero trust internet access. There is zero trust private access. There is forensics. So there are humongous number of features and functionalities available in the Trend Vision 1 platform. As a result, you would need a trusted advisor who not just helps you in the sales cycle, but also aids in the deployment and support activities. And Tech Jockey is one of the trusted partners of Trend Micro, which has the right and certified skill set and knows the Trend Vision 1 platform in and out. Thank you for watching this episode and please don't forget to subscribe to Tech Jockey's YouTube channel for more such updates.